internet. This is The Point Crew. I'm Darren. Sage. Tim. And uh, we're going to be talking about Comic Con 2013. But first, we're going to start off with Marvel news and then uh, the new movies for phase two of the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. Start with Fox first. You want to start with Fox? Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, of course, Fox, they have the X Men movies coming out, first of all, with Days of Future Past coming out next year. Right. So, what do y'all think about the, uh, the Days of Future Past, Days of Future Past panel? What all the stuff they had coming out? I think I think it's interesting that Fox is at least trying to like create their own little universe. Yeah. And they're like they're really putting work into it because it's like not only are they doing Days of Future Past, which is like a really popular X-Men story, mm -hmm. but they're also doing uh, X-Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out what version of X-Force they're gonna use. Like are they gonna use the like the version of X-Force that's like the assassins mm -hmm. and it's just like a kill squad, or are they gonna use the version of X-Force that's just like cable and some of his homies? It's interesting to see what they do with that because the modern interpretation of X-Force is, of course, the Wolverine. So, we might have another Wolverine-led movie. <coughs> we will. We, we have, might. That's what Marvel's doing. Wolverine, forefront of the whole Marvel Universe. Along the line, eventually they're going to have Wolverine and Marvel <laughs> versus the Galactus. <laughs> like, yeah, actually, Fox does own uh, Fantastic Four. You said that now and they do it, I'm gonna hurt you. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. 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 And Hugh Jackman likes playing Wolverine. So. Actually, Hugh Jackman said he wanted to be in the Avengers. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, okay, overall, we know Days of Future Past also has Wolverine, who's coming from his movie onto that. And we do see that uh, the people that play Charles Xavier and Magneto do come back. How are they back? I never saw X3, but I, I was under the impression that Charles Xavier died. They have to explain that, and they're gonna pull something out the ass. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it. You know what X Men retcons are abundant within their continuity, so something's gonna happen. Well, they had some of these of um, X Men United kind of hinted toward Charles being alive. Yeah, they yeah. did. Yeah. But um, they never really said anything about it. People asked questions, but they didn't want that to the Actually, now that you mentioned that, you remember something about he might be in some random person's body. So he That's found weird. it, he created his own body again. That's just weird. Did he, create, did he jump in somebody's body? Yeah, body like, showed, body? like, this is one of the first post credit scenes, but it showed that he was in somebody else's body somehow. I don't know how, just somehow. That's, that's a thing. But that's another thing. Okay, so I want to switch gears to DC for a little bit. <laughs> uh, so they're doing Superman back. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, the Point Crew Twitter forwarded me this, this uh, Angry Joe thing, but I thought he was really on point. I was like, I mean, Warner Brothers and Joe just feels like they're just sticking stuff to the wall. It's like a company full of guys that clearly aren't nerds, and they're just like, I wonder if the nerds will like this. And when I, I can tell this because when you sit there in the, the con, the panel, and they're reading like Dark Knight Returns, which involves, it's supposed to be Man of Steel 2. It's not Superman versus Batman. So far as we know, it's Man of Steel 2. So for Man of Steel 2 to get hyped, they read a quote which involves Batman beating the shit out of Superman. For Man of Steel 2, for a Superman film. Yeah. Somebody, some exec was just sitting there like, what's a popular story with Batman and Superman? With Dark Man? Okay, yeah, got it. Let's, let's do that. Read that. Wait, what? what? What in the world? What happened there? First of all, I'm going to call BS on this Man of Steel 2 stuff. I'm going to throw this out the window. It's Batman and Superman. Not Superman and Batman. Batman and Superman. Because let's just get this straight. DC loves Batman so much, they're just riding Batman to the wheels fall off. Yeah. And God knows that's when that's cool. going to happen. No, this is, this is true though. God knows when that's going to happen because Dark Knight Rises sold so much money. Right. And Superman did too, but not to the game breaking expectations. It's sold 650, which isn't bad because <clears throat> movies do better in sequels. Yeah. Like Iron Man 1 sold like 500 million. And then Iron Man 3 sold like a billion dollars. Yeah. Like 800 million or some, some yeah. really high number. Yeah. But with that comes character development. And not saying that Man of Steel didn't have one, but the second one warrants more character development for. Because so they got to get him to the place where he's like really a hero. And to develop an arch nemesis form in Luthor, which, if you haven't seen the movie, that's spoiled. But, you know, Metropolis is completely destroyed for the most part. And this gives Lex enough 
leeway to tell to not like Superman. To not only not like Superman, but to give him a call to like we need to protect our city more. Yeah. Or protect our world more from any future alien threats. And watch out for that guy in the blue, because he might turn rogue too. Which might it could lead to a good movie. But throwing Batman in there causes more problems because it's like you can't get away with making another movie without adding Batman in there. But so who was that you said to him that it, it's not Batman Superman anymore? It's like Batman versus Superman. Batman versus Superman. You, I guess you're gonna have them clash at some point to kind of showcase their uh, <laughs> levels of power. How would that help? I don't know. With Batman, Batman's gonna Superman? find the kryptonite that wasn't in Man's Field and just smack him. I was gonna say if these other Kryptonians can't be Superman, how does Batman be Superman? He just thinks of a way to do it. I don't know. You want to show Batman as a weak character? Of course, DC won't because they love that guy. But uh, how is that going to conflict or work along, work along with the movie? That, it all doesn't matter. That's why it bugs me because it's like it's obvious that they don't really, they just want the money. They want the, and don't get me wrong, all the companies just want the money, but at least other companies are doing a better job of lying to us about it. Because see, it's obvious. Speaking of which, I heard that laugh. Speaking of which, it's obvious that the geeks are running the madhouse over at Marvel. Yeah. They had Tom Hiddleston show up in Hall H just decked out in full Loki gear and in character. They have a whole lot of them, just like different previews coming out. And it's like, they reminded us that Marvel has one more film to go this year, two coming next year, and one coming the year after that. And they had trailers for the first three and some information about Avengers 2, which is like, I'm less excited for that. What do you think? We're gonna talk about Avengers 2, I already have not eight, but he says, why this one? I don't think if you don't know, they changed the title to Avengers 2 to Avengers Age of Ultron. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting if we didn't have that same title be used for a maxi series that came out earlier in the year. But does it does it matter though? Because like, the people that read Age of Ultron, you could number them 100 grand, 100,000 people maybe. The people that see Avengers 2, 5 million, 10 million, 20 million. Well, um, do you want to go ahead and use Thanos for it, Avengers 2? Actually, and that's another happen question. Happen. What happened to Thanos? Maybe they're trying to do like a whole trilogy thing mm -hmm. to have him later, so he might be... But didn't they set him up so early then? Yeah, because you're going to forget about him. You're going to be like, who's this guy? They got to set him up all over again. See, here's the thing. I think we, with Guardians of the Galaxy, they're going to use him for the villain of that one. Just stupid. Let's we'll just look at this here. Nah, because I think they, they got some other villains lined up. Yeah. They got uh, Karen Gillan from uh, Doctor Who lined yeah. up as a villain and somebody else. Well, here's the thing. If you have Galactus in the same little area as Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, okay. When I say when you have Thanos in there and you have them piled together in their own little area, something will happen there. And the Ultron thing will happen in Avengers 2. And you already, they already established they're going to have an Avengers 3 and Phase 3. Why not have your infinite gauntlet operation galactic storm kind of thing happen in Avengers 3 to lead up? That could work. The only problem with Age of Ultron right now is that the basis of who creates Ultron. Has yeah, I don't like origin. that either. Like, it's like they changed this origin for no reason. Like, I'm gonna have to see the film because this is like the biggest change I've ever seen. Not Ant-Man creating? Nope. They haven't brought no Ant-Man in the. Uh, and and and, and the they confirmed that Ant-Man's not being the one to create Ultron. And here's what I'm thinking. All right. And <laughs> I'm so who's gonna be Tony Stark? No. <laughs> here's what I'm thinking. Ant-Man won't be in Avengers Two. He's not. He's in um the first film after Avengers yeah. Two. But Hank Pym might be in it. But they said Hank Pym won't create an uh, Ultron. So that's like a given. We already know that he's not involved in it. Well, that throws out everything for me because. If he's not creating it, it's gonna be somebody nameless. If it's, like, if it's not Tony totally Stark, it's just gonna be a random Marvel yeah. character they just plucked out of the universe's textbook and just threw out there. Or something. Basically, unfortunately, that might be the case, and that might just that's gonna disappoint me in a way. I Some kind of shield system, like oh, this is what we're damn. That that sounds like it might need to to compare what DC did. It's kind of like what Microsoft did. What happened to Microsoft during E3? When Sony came out and just crushed them. I was just like, God, how could you make this? Like, they were supposed to do Batman Superman, if you didn't know. They, they had a rumor that it was going to be Batman Superman, then The Flash, then Justice League. Boom, boom, boom. One year after the next. And instead, we just got Batman Superman, and I'm like, that's not enough. To me, it's not enough. It what won't be enough. 
and unfortunately, I can only see them fail. Like that's all I can. That's all I really got for you. And it, it's fucked up for me to say that because I'm I'm more of a DC guy than I ever am a Marvel guy, and I'm still just looking at what Warner Brothers is doing, and I'm just like, nope, nope, you're not there yet. Look, DC has some other things going on, like TV show era. But what about Black Canary? Because they just confirmed Black Canary is not going to be Donna Lance. They at least have really? something going. They they introduce the character named Black Canary and it's like some blonde chick and she's not Donna, it's just some other girl. Mm. They at least have something going where it comes off interesting. That you're if it was Diane Lance, I would have been guessing like, how the hell does that happen? Well I mean like they have they have a time skip happening. Well, yeah, but it's still and like... And during the time skip, I think Roy is going to be like trying to like do his vigilante uh -huh. thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, <clears throat> Green Arrow, he goes and he comes back to the city and then that's where they start what season two is called, which is called City of Heroes. Mm -hmm. So which is going to involve like just a ton of like heroic characters. All right. But it's still got an animated movie. And they have two coming That's two. They got three, actually. Three? Okay. They have uh, Justice League War. And I'm excited about that because it's like... It wasn't really well received by comic book fans, but it had a lot of potential to be made into something special on camera. Kind of like uh, Under the Red Hood, because people yeah. didn't like that in the comics, but we saw it. Yeah. And it was amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. It, it, I don't know, maybe because it was just by itself, it didn't depend on continuity, it came out better. And this will have the same benefit. Yeah. And then I'm also hyped about, uh, they have two other films coming out, they're both Batman next year. Uh, there's Arkham something. Arkham Assault, Assault on Arkham, something like that. And then there's uh, Batman and Son, or Son of Batman, that's what it's called. But it's based on Grant Morrison's story, Batman and Son, and it introduces Damian Wayne. I honestly don't think you can mess that one up because there's so much that you just put into That's it for now. You know, uh, we'll be back next week with some uh, some different topics and different material. Sorry we've been gone so long. We'll holla at y'all.